Good morning, my dear students of intermediate first year as well as second year. Uh, I think you are you are surprised to some extent because this is a class which was supposed to be conducted by our chairman, sir. But because of his busyness, I have been given the opportunity to conduct today's class. You know, I was going on with English first paper, and I talked about a lesson on or you can say from unit 4. I started with etiquette and manners. You know that this is a passage consisting of three paragraphs. As far as I could remember, I talked about three important paragraphs. We tried to learn the meaning of the lesson. We tried to learn the synonyms of the important words. And I, 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 I gave you a list of important words along with their synonyms. Today, we will learn some important MCQs depending on this passage. So my dear students, look at the slide. And today, we will have a short class uh, for 40 or 45 minutes. And within this 40 or 45 minutes, I think we will be able to get some practical knowledge regarding the MCQs of our upcoming CT2 exams. Exam. My dear students, uh, I am going to repeat. You have to take preparation. You have to take preparation on unit 4, 5 and 6. 4, 5, uh, four, five and 6 according to your new English for today book. The students of Dhaka College should keep this matter into concern. You have to take preparation. You have to complete your syllabus according to the new book. Okay. And I think we will be able to cover up the syllabus for your city too. And in the meanwhile, we have set up we have set up your questions for upcoming city too. And don't be uh, worried because if you can if you attend these classes, these live classes, I think you'll be able to get. Uh, yourselves well or you can say you will get good marks in your upcoming CD2. So my dear students today I'm going to talk about MCQs on etiquette and manners. Look at the slide. Okay. Uh, in, in our last class we talked about this paragraph. Uh, we talked about, uh, as far as I could remember, I told you about the responsibilities of children according to culture and tradition. I talked about what etiquette and manners are, and we talked about, and we talked about some other information related to etiquette and manners. Today, we are going to start with uh, MCQs. Look at the slide here the importance were words were given and uh, i told you to take a screenshot of these important words along with the synonyms now look at choose the correct answer from the alternatives we will learn these issues at first you are requested to start with question number a the students look at the slide look at the slide the word grass in third line of the first paragraph refers to what do you think the answer should be what do you think the answer should be write in the comment box write in the comment box my dear students uh, today i will just give you the problem and you have to give me the solution and i'm sure it will be a very participatory class okay Sabir, the CT2 exam will be held very soon, so take preparation. Shadat Raman Sadat, Shihab Tasinul, Rizbi, Nuruddin, Fahim, Mahabuba Frin Lima. Yes, yes. I, I want your maximum effort. Habibur Rahman, 
आलोक अभिजीत यस यस ओके हियर ग्रास मीन समथिंग दैट यू डोंट लाइक दैट मीन्स द आंसर शुड बी डी हैविंग डिसलाइक ओके डेयर स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो द मीनिंग ऑफ इनडिफरेंट ओके देर आर फोर ऑप्शन यू कैन सी डू अनविलिंगली नंबर टू बी इन डिफरेंट हैविंग नो इमोशन एंड हैविंग डिसलाइक एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द टेक्सट ग्रास कन्वेज द मीनिंग ऑफ हैविंग डिसलाइक बट माई क्वेश्चन इज वट इज द सिनोनिम ऑफ इन डिफरेंट हु कैन टेल मी रुद्र वट इज द सिनोनिम ऑफ इन डिफरेंट हु कैन टेल मी हु कैन टेल मी येस यू आर मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट बिकॉज द आंसर इज फोर नाउ वट डू यू मीन बाई इन डिफरेंट हु कैन टेल मी हु कैन टेल मी येस हाँ बेंगली उदासीन थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू नो 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 फे रब्बी खान यू आर नट करेक्ट डिफरेंट मीन्स भिन्न इन डिफरेंट डजेंट मीन अभिन्न नो 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 लुक एट द बोर्ड लुक एट द बोर्ड in different in bengali it's called udashin in bengali it's called udashin i think the words are very uh, i think the words are unclear all right कमेंट बक्स ओके who can give me a synonym yes thank you rain islam rudder you are still applicate milon careless okay thank you you can say callous the, the the synonym of indifferent is callous now my question what kind of parts of species is indifferent what kind of parts of species is indifferent who can tell me what kind of parts of species is indifferent definitely it's an adjective definitely it's an adjective now my question is what is the noun form of the word indifferent what is the noun form i'm sure the noun form is the noun form is indifference okay the noun form is indifference and what is the noun form of callous the noun form of callous is callousness so my dear students we have learned some words and they are indifferent is itself an adjective and the synonym of indifferent is callous both of them are adjective and if we turn these words into nouns they will be indifference and callousness so indifference has a synonym named callousness thank you now my dear students we will we will start mcq number 2 okay we will start mcq number 2 the most suitable meaning of the expression excuse me in the sixth line of paragraph 3 is dash 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 
the most suitable meaning the most suitable meaning you have to look for the best answer the most suitable meaning of the expression excuse me in the sixth line of the paragraph three of paragraph three is to grant pardon to ignore someone to show respect or to humiliate someone what do you think the answer should be okay what do you think the answer should be my dear students try to show your presence with the answer okay okay now you have two options most of you are taking to grant pardon or to show respect which one is the most appropriate answer now we are talking about in it for lesson one Raihan, show respect, but Shubrata is to grant pardon. Okay. Uh, game is going on. Because you are giving me different answers. Okay, uh, we will try to learn the best one. But after you have to give me your efforts, show me your answer in the comment box. Shital, pardon. Alamin, pardon. Okay. <laughs> Rimon, pardon. Koshik, pardon. Okay. Mediasan, to grant pardon. Shujan pardon, Durjoy, very good. I don't know which one was the answer. Sinan to show respect. Shariar five to sh to gra to greet pardon, to grant pardon. Okay. Niloy to show respect. I will not tell you the answer at first. Okay, show me, show me your answer. Hurry up, hurry up. Shubo, forget about the city exam. Let us learn at first. Yusuf Khan, Mamunur Rashid, Nijar, to show respect, to show respect, to grant pardon, to show respect, oh my God, Shakawat, Milan, Raju, Faisal, Milan, Fuad, yes, yes. Okay, now I'd like to tell you the answer. Dear students, listen to what I say. The most suitable meaning of the word excuse me. I know that excuse me always shows respect. We know that. There are a lot of expressions that are used. There are a lot of expressions that are used to show respect. There are a lot of emotions or I could say expressions which are used to show respect for example thank you excuse me good morning okay but here excuse me actually conveys the meaning of to grant pardon okay so we will take the answer so we will take the answer to grant pardon Dear students, look at please. These questions, these questions were given. My dear students, these questions were given in 2019 test exam of Silet Cadet College. Okay. This question was given in 2019 exam of Silet Cadet College. And the answer was taken. Uh, Question number one or option one was taken as answer and the answer is to grant pardon. Is my is my message clear to you? Now I'd like to talk about question number three and I'm sure you'll be able to solve it. The meaning of the expression professional bodies in second line of paragraph three is these three questions are taken from 2019 Select Cadet College and they were given in test exam. The meaning of the expression professional bodies in second line of paragraph 3 is blah, 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 blah. Most of you are taking, yes. I have no problem, my dear, carry on. Mm, most of you are writing very, write very fast. We will have a short class today. We will have a very short class today because your sir, your sir will be vaccinated today. Hmm. 
Yes, yes, Sinan, Rimon, Niloy, Mehdi, Rohit, Said, Samyun Feddos, Said, Shobboshachi Nidjar, Simon, you are congratulating for what? What is the paragraph? Uh, yeah, you are requested to open your book, my dear students, to get the help from paragraph, please. Yes, yes, Mozammel, I will be vaccinated today. Yes, no, no, Shamim Rani, you are not absolutely correct. Thank you. Okay. I told you that in my last class that um, uh, professional has a synonym named occupational. I told you that. I told you that uh, professional has a synonym named uh, vocational. So vocational, professional, occupational. These words are synonymous and, and the answer should be occupational institutions. Okay. Occupational institutions. Okay, my dear students. Now, I'd like to go on with some more MCQs. What do you think? We should go on? Yes, we should. Look at, please. Okay, our fourth MCQ. What is a bad manner mentioned in the passage? There is one bad manner which is talked about in this passage. And what is the bad manner? What is this bad manner? To obey the seniors, to protest discipline, to speak with food in mouth, to obey someone. To obey everyone. What do you think the answer should be? What do you think the answer should be? Sami, Rabbi, Sinan, Niloy, Fardin Kobir Alok, Pritam, Ashab Rahman, Ahmed Pritam, Sharkar Asif Kais, Ikramul Hassan Nabil, Mominul Hassan Munna, Piyash, Trisha Dash, Bilash Roy Rudro, Mehdi Hassan Miraz. Oh my God, Mehdi Hassan Miraz, you have written two to protest discipline. My God. Nafis and Slam. Rafik Sinan, Koshikar, Raju. I think 98% students, 98% students have been correct for question number D. And according to you, the answer is, in this passage, we have talked one, we have talked about one bad manner. We have talked about one bad manner, and that is to speak with food in mouth, okay? This is the bad manner which has been talked about in this passage. So our answer is, sorry, 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 my dear students. Uh, I should have given option number three, but I have given two. Uh, to speak with food in one's mouth, it, this should be option number three. Okay, I have written maybe two. Okay, it should be three. It should be to speak with food in one mouth, in mouth, okay? Now, our fifth one. What kind of Persophis piece is the word practice? Uh, Shapon, uh, I have already rectified here, it should be three. Uh. <laughs> what kind of perceptive speech is the word practice? Practice, deep, shujon. Dear students, 
प्लीज डोंट गेट अपसेट प्लीज राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स वी विल ट्राई टू रेक्टिफाई शाजी ब्राह्मण नाउन वर बोथ वाव नस्टिन शरकर नाउन वर वाव शोहेल ओनली वर रायहन प्रैक्टिस ओ वेरी वेरी गुड noun and verb verb so you are talking about maybe noun maybe verb okay oh my god noun and verb noun and verb very i think my dear students have been confused my dear students have been confused for the answer of question number e I will not. I will give. I will not give you the solution at first. At first, you are requested to think by yourselves, and after your thinking, I will give you the solution. Yes, Tasirul Islam, absolutely correct. Oh my God, Sifat, I I feel really sorry for you. If I took this class before, you would not fail in in this exam. Fazle Rabbi Khan, why are you begging? Sorry, you can be right. Okay, look at my dear students. The word is look at please. The word is. Look at my students. I have written two words here. I have written two words here. Look at me and try to listen to my pronunciation, my dear students. The first one is practice. The first one is practice, and the second one is practice. There are two pronunciations here. The first one is practice, is jaw sound, jaw, burgio jaw, jaw sound, and the second one is practice. Here the word is s. Here c. If you get s, the pronunciation would be like jaw, and if you get c, it would be saw. Okay. If you get s or jaw sound, it's called verb, and if you get c e, practice, it would be. now is it clear to you my dear students so practice is a verb practice is a verb and practice is a noun okay practice is a verb and practice is a noun clear to you here um now i'd like to give you some more option if practice is a verb look at advice and advice what kind of participle piece is advice and what kind of participle piece is advice 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 okay uh, uh have you got me have you understood me have you been able to rectify your mistakes the students yes yes abun you are absolutely correct mustafiz rahman thank you thank you thank you masum thank you nabil thank you but my question is have you got me my dear students practice advise these are verb and the pronunciation sir a uh, practice advice practice and advice both of them are a noun okay we have talked about five mcqs but i would like to have a question you have answered me five mcqs you have answered five mcq but my question is how many marks have you got how many marks have you got dash have you got 1 out of 5 have you got 2 out of 
have you got 3 out of 5 have a 4 out of 5 have you got 5 out of 5 what do you think what how many marks have you got show me and try to be very honest my dear student try to be very honest okay comment please four sadat four three out of five only very very sad definitely thank you asadu zamanu thank you four is there one student who hasn't got five out of five yes one student mohammad borhanuddin rizbi thank you borhan congratulations i will give you a treat when i when i will meet you trisha four out of five five out of uh, four out of five okay jahid four very very sir who are the students who have achieved or obtained five out of five very very sad i'm really i'm really hopeless oh my god have you raman you have got a plus because you have got four out of five very good excellent uh, Milan, thank you five about five Nafis is a me also what does it mean you have got four out of five or five out of five Nafis. okay thank you Shajid five out of five thank you <laughs> no problem buddy. now my dear students I'm going to give you another five questions okay Learning is learning English is really an interesting process. Okay, so my dear students, you are requested to participate in this class, and you will really enjoy. Don't stay dumb. Don't stay inactive. Okay. Ha, Maruf. Okay. <laughs> no, no, Miraz, you, sh you, you, your main target is not to pass the exam. Now, my dear students, I'd like to give you some more options. Another five questions, okay? These are the five questions, okay? Sorry, 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 yes. These are the five questions and you are requested to give me five answers. Okay, just within a single, uh, within two or three minutes. You have to give me the answers of these five questions at a time. Dear students, I have given you five questions. Try to think that this is an exam and you are writing the answer for this exam and don't give me the answer of one question. Give me the answer of these five questions at a time, okay? I am waiting for your reply. But my question is give me the answers of these five questions at a time. Don't write the answer one by one. It's an examination, it's a virtual examination and you are attending the exam and you are giving the, you are giving the answers. The answer should be written in the comment box. Hurry up. Give me, give me answer, all the answers at, at one time, okay. I'm waiting for your answer. Some students are really serious and attentive. Okay. Momin Lawson Munna, thank you. Thank you. I have got five answers from you. Nuruddin Sharkar, absolutely right. Absolutely. You are really, really active. Thank you. Give me five answers at a time. Saimul, thank you. Mohammed Milan, thank you. Nafi Zikbal, excellent. Mustafiz Rahman, one of my very loyal students. Pritam, good. Mahmoud, good. Shamim Reza, only one answer has been written. Why? Give me five answers. Meshka, thank you. Noman Ibn Villal, thank you. Thanks. 
thanks goes to thanks go to Mubashir, Rahat Alamin, Sinan, Tabassum, Tamanna. Tamanna, you have asked, asked me a question. Please uh, try to enjoy the class again after the class is over because the class will be updated uh, updated on YouTube and you will be able to uh, uh, enjoy this class again and again and you will be able to get the answer if you if you just re enjoy the class thank you Koshik thank you Iftekhar thank you Shripon thanks Go special thank goes to Nusrat Jahan Aboni Habib Rahman Jah Jahid, Torik, Shubha, Mafia Akta, thank you, Enan, Nabila, Shamim Rani, Rimon, Shahriyar Kabir. You have to determine how many marks you are going to get. You have to show me your marks in the comment box after I have given you the solution. Aryan, Abdullah Al Rafi, Rimon, Jidni, Tasin Islam. Tasin Islam, I have taken you, I have I have uttered your name. Tasin. Milon, Raju, Rohit, Antor. Do you know Antor is from uh, uh, Noakhali? Aboni. Nafiz, Nafiz, <laughs> Jafrin, Yusuf Ahmed, Rahan, Tamim, oh my god, Milon, we will get abs uh, 5 out of 5, Vishwadesh Shah, definitely I will take your name, Bef definitely I will utter your name. Oh my God, thank you, Rimon. I know that we have a lot of students from out, uh, outside Dhaka. Tasin, you're from Noakhali. I'm from Magura, my dear students. I'm from Magura. Yes, Polash. Don't get, don't be upset. I will be Tasin Islam will be the first in virtual exam. Very good. Thank you for your confidence level. Shoryatpur, Gajipur, Hatia. My God, Meshkat. Thank you for being with us. Shoryatpur, Noakhali, my God. Oh my God. Istia Kamet from Magura. Vola, Kumilla. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, but just show me the answer. Okay, my dear students, let us start. I told you that in my last class. I gave you some synonyms for great. Abuse, uh, abuse is a negative word. Abuse, rebuke, both of them are synonymous. So we will not take abuse or rebuke. We will take welcome. Very good. What does the word Greek greet in passage in the passage refer to? And it refers to. Okay, it refers to. I know that there are students from almost 64 districts of Bangladesh, okay? And uh, my dear students, look at the question. What does the word greet in the passage refer to? Here, greet means welcome. The answer is welcome, welcome, okay? Um, now, my second question. Look at, please. The manners of wedding ceremony and debating club are dash. Same, similar, alike, different. My dear students, these are the five questions which have been taken from the test exams of different colleges 
in 2019 okay if you can solve this questions easily i'm sure you will be able to get good marks in this passage if this passage is given in your question okay okay the manners of wedding ceremony and debating club definitely they are not same definitely they are not same okay same similar and alike all of them are synonymous okay so it should be different it should be different it should be different so the manners of wedding ceremony and debating club are different my next question what kind of persuasive speech is the word effect what kind of persuasive speech is the word effect what kind of persuasive speech is the word effect i'm going to write four three words effect affect effective effect affect effective effect is a noun affect is a verb effective is an adjective and effectively is an adverb have you got me my dear students effect is a noun affect is a verb effective is an adjective and effectively is an adverb okay so what kind of person please please do not effect it should be a noun it should be a noun now our next target the word schooling the word schooling could be best replaced by the word the word schooling could be best replaced by what do you think what do you think the answer should be i told you that in my last class i told you i gave you a synonym i was talking about a synonym of schooling in my last class and it should be teaching it should be teaching okay i gave you a synonym for schooling and here schooling conveys the meaning of teaching okay nusra thank you piyash thank you tanjit thank you rahan thank you mohammad bilon thank you okay yes yes i have already explained tanjit okay my next question and this is the last question for today no one likes a bad mannered person the underlined word is a or an noun adjective verb adverb okay the answer should be i don't know look at please there are eight parts of this piece look at please noun adjective verb i have written four words please look at please my dear students noun is always modified by adjective adjective is always modified by adverb verb is always modified by adverb adverb is always modified by adverb so oh, my dear students look at if any participle species modifies if any participle species modifies a noun okay this word will be adjective if any participle species modifies adjective verb or adverb they will be adverb okay they will be adverb look at please
try to keep this concentration in, uh, concentration in mind this knowledge will help you to understand modifier a very important grammatical item for english second paper okay I'm going to write down a sentence for you. Bangladesh is an agro based country. Bangladesh is an agro based country. Look at please. Bangladesh is an agro based country. Here country is a noun. Here country is a noun. And this country is modified by the word agro -based. As country is a noun, definitely agro is an adjective. Okay. And this adjective has been constructed with the help of a hyphen. With the help of hyphen. With the help of hyphen. And if you get any hyphen, uh, you, if you get any use of hyphen in a word, and here two or more than two words are connected or you can say conjuncted, and these words are called compounds. These words are called compounds in modifier. Here I have used a compound as adjective. Okay, here compound is working as pre modifier because. The country is being modified by the word agrobest. An agrobed has become an adjective, and this adjective has been constructed with the help of hyphen. That's why we will call it compound. Is it clear to you, my dear students? So I can say compound is an adjective. I can say all compounds are adjective, my dear students. All compounds are adjective, but all adjectives are not compounds okay so the answer should be no one likes a bad mannered person here bad mannered modifies the noun person person is a noun that's why we will call bad mannered a uh, an adjective okay Comment please. I think it's clear to you. We have already talked about for a long, long time. My dear students, uh, today I will not talk about anything else. Thank you for your excellent preparation or participation. And I think you have, most of you have obtained five, five out of five. And uh, those who have not obtained 5 out of 5, don't be hopeless. Time will come for you also. I have completed one lesson. And I, I have completed one lesson. And I think the next class will be conducted by me. And I will, if I am okay, I will take a class or conduct a class on next Saturday. On next Saturday, I'd like to take, I'd like to take the help of another lesson. I will take the help of, I will, I will try to uh, discuss on a certain lesson. It would be a different lesson. And uh, the lesson will be from your city to syllabus, city to syllabus. So the students from Dhaka College as well as the students of other institutions of Bangladesh are requested to join with me. We will try to uh, clarify an important lesson. In my next class, that will be held on next Saturday. So, my dear students, this is all for today. Thank you for being with me. Willing to have some more interactive classes in near future. Thank you. Goodbye.